Right, viewer comment time. This came off the MFJ Magloop videos I did quite a while back. It's from uh, Jim E. It says, um, can you say what indoor or portable antenna you would prefer to this MFJ 1788 for 40 meters? I'm thinking of getting on HF again, but just now I'm in a temporary room at Relations House. So, this guy's in a compromised position. He can't go putting up big antennas or drilling holes in the wall or anything like that. He just wants a temporary antenna, presumably something that's not going to stand out too much. So, if you're talking about indoor or portable antenna, then you're already talking compromise antenna. So if you're willing to accept a bit of a compromise, then why not use something as an antenna that's already standing and hide, basically hide your antenna in plain sight. So my question would be, what have you got that's metallic that you can tune up that's already standing and won't get noticed? Let me show you what I mean. So I had to look around to see what I could use as an antenna and the best I could come up with is this shed. It's uh, made of metal. I've uh, connected it via this uh, clip here to my uh, MFJ antenna tuner using that as a long wire tuner and uh, on the back here you can see uh, so there's my connection going up to the shed. There's the earth connection which comes down via this wire into a small earth rod there and then also connects into these radials. These are the radials I use when I go portable with the 20 meter quarter wave vertical. Uh, there's about six or seven of those, five meters long each. And uh, also on the back I've got counterpoise as well, which uh, comes off here, goes round the fence, past the gates and follows the uh, fence along behind the caravan for a little way. And then just a nice long feeder cable that goes all the way back up to the house and connects into my radio. So let's uh, put this uh, shed come antenna on air and uh, see what we get. I'll probably try a bit of uh, FT8 and uh, who knows I might even uh, I might even end up whisper testing my shed. That's a phrase I never thought I'd use. Right well we're all connected up. I've tuned up the antenna and I've uh, got uh, FT8 on the go. Seems to be receiving so this might actually work. Oh wow he heard me! <laughs> oh no, that, that's amazing. You know what this is hilarious. I'm talking to Germany on a shed. Uh, hang on let's don't get too carried away. Let's log it. So he's Delta Hotel 9 Delta X-Ray Portable. I've sent him plus 9 and he's sent me minus 4. You know what, as receive an antennas go this isn't all that bad. What's, uh, what signal strength has he given me? Minus 8. So. Yeah, okay, I mean, it's a ground level antenna and it's surrounded by other buildings. So, you know, as, as MVIS goes, uh, at a pinch, you know, it's, I mean, the bottom line is it's working. It's, uh, it's about, my signal is about 10 dB down at the other end compared to what I'm receiving, but they are hearing me. Let's call CQ again and log that one. Oh, this is brilliant. Any more takers? Oh, we've got a CT one. Where's CT? Is that? It must be. Um, yeah, that's Portugal. CT one BWU. Oh my god, I've just created a mini pile up on 40 meters using FT8 and a shed. 
Who'd have thought you could have so much fun with a shed? Okay, so after the madness and excitement has uh, subsided then, and after I shut the cameras off, I did uh, put it on air for an hour on a whisper test, and um, I'll be fair, it actually did a lot better than I thought it would. I mean, uh, well, I'll, pu I'll put the plot up on the screen, but the uh, normal sort of four or 500 mile up to about maybe a 1,000 mile or so NVIS range you'd normally get with 40 metres, it covered it. I mean... Uh, I've got contacts all over Europe from uh, MVIS testing and um, the FT8 tests as well. I mean, I only had about 45 minutes to play with it on air with FT8 and uh, I got a total of 17 contacts. And that was one France, one Spain, one Italy, one Portugal, one Denmark, uh, three into the Netherlands and nine into Germany. So the fact is it's getting out. I mean, it's inefficient it's on the ground uh, it's surrounded by fences garages buildings trees all sorts um, you could probably boost that efficiency slightly by uh, using a better rf ground i mean uh, the radials i put down were really designed for a 20 meter quarter wave portable setup so uh, they weren't really long enough and there probably weren't enough of them and uh, the counterpoise was probably not up to much either so if you had a tuned counterpoise or proper ground and let's not forget if you put the radials down on the on grass then the, a couple of weeks later the grass will grow over them and nobody will ever see them nobody would know they're there so you could probably boost the efficiency that way um i dread to think what the uh far field rf pattern looks like although to be fair, it's probably doing a similar sort of thing that a dipole would do. It's uh, probably sending most of its RF radiation that way, straight up at the clouds, which, let's face it, is basically what um, MVIS is. So, frankly, yeah, it's inefficient and uh, you'd be better off with a dipole, but if I lived in a restricted homeowners association or where there was some restriction on antennas and uh, I had to be discreet and have an antenna that was invisible um, and I had a metal shed like that outside I'd actually be tempted to try this Thank you for watching if you like what I do please click the thumbs up button it lets me know that I'm heading in the right direction with the channel and gives me the confidence to keep doing what I'm doing. Don't forget to click the subscribe and also the bell button to be notified when I upload new content. If you don't like what I'm doing, feel free to click the thumbs down button. Just tell me why in the comments below. I welcome your feedback and constructive criticism will help me to improve the channel. Take care and I hope you will catch me in the next video.